Hi, this is Dr. R. Esther Felicia, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Sri Krishna Swami College for Women. Today, we are going to see the topic Mathematical Induction. Mathematical Induction is a part of discrete mathematics, where discrete mathematics is a subject which consists of uh, separate sections like sets, set theories, and division algorithms, Boolean algebra, two element Boolean algebra, DNF, CNF, switching circuits, designing of switching circuits, and many more. Mathematical induction. Mathematical induction is a technique of proving a statement, theorem, or formula which is thought to be true for each and every natural number n. By generalizing this uh, in form of principle, we would use to prove any mathematical statement. So this is called as a principle of mathematical induction. In mathematical induction, we will be proving the three cases, the base case, P of K and P of K plus 1. Principles of mathematical induction. Principle of mathematical induction consists of the three major steps. Where the first thing is we denote the given statement as P of N, where N is a natural number. And the step 1, we say this is a base step. Where in the in this step the statement is be proved for n is equal to one, that is p of one is true. This is for the statement the initial conditions. Whatever the initial conditions given to that concerned statement, we'll be proving for that. The next step is called as inductive hypothesis, where in this step we'll be assuming the values of the statement to be true for n is equal to k. That is, P of K is true. The third step is called the inductive step. And in this, the statement will be proved for the value of N, which is equal to K plus 1. And we prove that P of K plus 1 is true. And we see some properties which can be proved using principle of mathematical induction. 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc. till N, which is equal to N into N plus 1 by 2, fine is greater than or equal to 1. And 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square etc. till n square equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. For n is greater than or equal to 1. And 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus etc. till n cube equal to n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4. For n is greater than or equal to 1. And the fourth one is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc. till 2n minus 1 equal to n square. For n is greater than or equal to 1. And fifth one is 2 power n is totally greater than n. For n is greater than or equal to 1. Here the initial conditions are n is greater than or equal to 1. Which means that n can take the value 1 or any value which is greater than 1. And the first word of four types of statements is called as equality statements. Whereas the fifth one is called as inequality type. Here we will see one problem of the equality type. The problem is. You have to prove that for 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc. n equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 for all the integers. For n is greater than or equal to 1 by the mathematical induction. Here we assume the statement to be P of n and the step 1 which we represent as a basis step that is P of n not is true. Here my n is equal to 1 is the initial condition and I will be proving this for n is equal to 1 the given statement. So when I am substituting n is equal to 1, I will be taking the first term only in the left hand side and while substituting the value of n is equal to 1 in the right hand side, I am getting the LHS equal to RHS. Yes, in this case P of 1 is true. So my basis step holds in this case. Next, in step 2, the inductive hypothesis step, I am assuming that P of k is true. Which means that for any values of k, my P of k is true. The k takes the values greater than or greater than 1. Inductive step, the third step. Here I am going to prove for k plus 1, that is my p of k plus 1 is 2. By substituting the k equal to k plus 1 and taking common, I will be getting the statement p of k plus 1 is 2. Hence, by the mathematical induction, I can able to prove that my original statement p of n is 2 for all the integers n greater than or equal to 1. Now we will see the another problem of inequality type. Here the given statement will be of inequality. The statement is n square is strictly less than 2 power n. Where for all the integers n greater than or equal to 5. Here my n will take the minimum value that is the initial value is 5. So I am taking the statement p of n as n square is less than 2 power n for all the integers n greater than or equal to 5. And the basis step I am proving it for n is equal to 5 since my initial condition is 5. And step 2 am I assuming that my uh, statement is true for all the positive integers k which is greater than or equal to 5 and my p of k holds. 
and step 3, I'm just proving the inductive step for p of k plus 1 is 2. Where k plus 1 the whole square, I'm substituting the a plus b the whole square formula and then by proving the previous uh, step with the hypothesis, in this I'll be able to prove that k plus 1 the whole square has to be less than 2 power k plus 2 k plus 1. Next, I'm going to show that the statement 2n plus 1, which is to be less than 2 power n, is also a true for all the values of n, which is greater than or equal to 5. Again, I'm taking that statement as s of n, since I already taken the statement as p of n. So now I'm proving for the basis step n is equal to 5. Next, I'm proving the inductive hypothesis s of k is true. Next, for the step inductive step 2 of k plus 1 plus 1, I'm just proving it is equal to 2 power k plus 1. Where, uh, which proves me that consequently s of k plus 1 holds and then s of n holds for all n get not equal to 5. By substituting it, I will be getting k plus 1 the whole square which is strictly less than 2 power k plus 2 k plus 1 which is strictly less than 2 power k plus 2 power k. This is by the before step, step and uh, which gives me 2 power k plus 1. Hence, I can say that p of k plus 1 is true. Since by the mathematical induction, p of n holds for all the values of n greater than or equal to 5. Thank you.